A confessed cop killer had yet another outburst in court, and this time he got what he wanted. Luis Bracamontes was removed from the courtroom after his latest tirade and will spend the rest of his proceedings watching on a monitor. New tonight, CBS 13's Jubilea is live outside the courthouse in downtown Sacramento with what experts say this could mean for the trial. Drew? Well, Brock Montes has had outbursts nearly every time he's been in a courtroom, and he's done so right in front of victims' families. So why continue this even after he's confessed to the killings? Well, experts say it could be for his own protection. Luis Bracamontes has confessed to killing members of the Sacramento and Placer County Sheriff's Departments during a 2014 chase and shootout. And while in custody, the illegal immigrant from Mexico has continued to make threats. Wake up soon and I will kill more. But today was the last straw. Bracamontes lashed out, calling the trial a waste of time and shouting 23 expletives at the people involved, saying, expletive the jury too and the dead cops and their stupid families. Bracamontes was eventually removed from the courtroom, but said, expletive you, judge, before his exit. Even though this gentleman may not want the due process, he's going to get it. Alan Sawyer is a criminal defense attorney and former prosecutor. He says there are safeguards in place to ensure capital punishment is used appropriately. He can't choose to be executed because he is frustrated with the circumstance he finds himself. Bracamontes has been found to be mentally stable enough to stand trial, so claiming insanity isn't an option. You still have to understand why and whether or not there's any mitigating circumstances that would prevent us from executing him. The judge ordered Bracamontes to watch the remainder of the trial on video monitors in a secluded room, a move that Sawyer says may have a lasting impact on the jury. To not have to face the person that you ultimately would be sending to the death chamber is, uh, is, is a problem. Now, the jury has been in the room for the majority of Bracamante's outbursts, but the judge has ordered them to ignore what they have heard. The trial will continue tomorrow. Just adds to the victim's pain and all this. Drew, thanks. The Southern